Yeah, and, and something that you just said struck me as, you know, this might be a very specific story, but once you sort of raise your consciousness and awareness around telling authentic stories, it's not just about the very specific group that you might identify with, but that is a universal experience unto itself. Um, Claudia, when I was watching this show, you know, I'm, I'm also, I'm not an immigrant, but I'm the daughter of immigrants. And it really just was so relatable to me, but I also was reflecting on growing up and how a lot of the pop culture depictions that I grew up seeing of immigrants either sidelined them or made them the butt of the joke. And this show strikes me as in a trend. I wonder if you think it's a trend too of centering immigrant stories and they're the protagonists and they're not the butt of the joke. And we're kind of seeing America through their eyes. Are you seeing this happen? And if so, what is the role of what Zoe was just talking about, about having those allies within the industry helping to bring those stories forward? Am I seeing this happen in, in Hollywood in the industry of more stories being told from immigrant point of view? Yeah. Is that um, a trend you're seeing? Actually, I would say no. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. right now we're one of um, very few shows um, with Latino families at the center. Um, Pentified, which was a beautiful show, um, created by Marvin Lemus and Linda Vet Chavez, who are both brilliant TV show writers and creators, unfortunately was canceled by Netflix. Um, we had Vida, which a brilliant show created by Tanya Saracho, which showed flawed Latina women also living here in Los Angeles was also canceled. So I think right now we're at a point where, um, I don't know, sometimes it feels like two steps forward, one step back, or maybe even two steps back. And I wish that because of this show, it would motivate other networks to green light shows about other immigrants. I think there's space for a show about Dominican immigrants set in New York. And you know, there's so much talent and so many funny Dominican writers that haven't gotten a chance. Puerto Rican writers, there's, you know, Nicaraguan writers. Like I have another friend also who's of Nicaraguan descent. So if you ask me, um, I hope this show kicks off a trend. I know that's bold for me to say, but I think that um, it's very painful when you think about just the lack of Latin A representation um, and the big gap that we still have. You know, we're almost 20% of the population less than six or five percent of the characters in tv and film those are rough numbers i don't know if they've changed recently but um i think that really also something that we wanted to do with this show is we didn't want to just capture the immigrant population we also wanted to capture the non-immigrant population that's why i i always felt that having this be a comedy was the right choice because you you know get a lot more flies with honey, right? I think a lot of people that you might not be able to relate to immigrants in their everyday life who are not immigrants or are not people of color, when they see what some immigrants go through and they're able to laugh at it along with us, then, you know, maybe that'll open their eyes and soften them. And at least, you know, through comedy, you're able to really humanize people. So um, I, I really hope things start to change for the better. We've had some victories in the last few years, but if you ask me, not enough. 